Dear student, welcome to my channel. Topic of this video is SVM for multi class classification. In this video, three types are discussed. Now, let us start. While SVM were originally designed for binary classification, they can be extended to handle multi class problem using various strategy. First is one versus rest. In this method, a separate binary SVM classifier is trained for each class. Each classifier distinguishes between one class and all other classes. The final prediction is made by selecting the class whose classifier outputs the highest confidence score. This strategy is suitable for fewer classifier and it is simple in nature. For example, in our data set, final four class labels are there. So here k equal to four. So here we train all four classifier. So here for first we modify the data set that a versus b c d. So this one class and this is another class similar b versus a c d c versus a b d d versus a b c for a new unseen sample each classifier will output a decision function or confidence score which is nothing but the distance of the new sample from the decision boundary the equation of the support vector machine is w x plus b the value of f of x is interpreted as a confidence score a positive value indicates that sample is predicted belong to the positive class and a higher positive value means stronger confidence. Negative score suggests it belongs to the rest or the negative class. Now see unseen sample x is there. First we run the classifier a versus b c d. We get the 3.5 distance from the decision boundary. It indicates that sample belongs to class a but with somewhat confident. b versus a c d as it is negative score means this sample belongs to the class a c d not b. c versus a b d the sample belongs to the class C, then D versus A, B, C, the somewhat confident that sample belongs to the class D. If we see this 3.5, 7.0 and 5.6, so this distance is more. So it is likely that the sample is unseen sample belong to the class C. Now these three classes are there which is represented in different color. So this is one class, the rest of the class belong to the one class, so two categories are there. Blue, cat blue is one category, rest other category, green is one category and the others are the other category. Now here the only problem is that our data should be properly linearly separable then only we can use this method otherwise we can't use this method. Next is one versus one. In this method a binary classifier is trained for every pair of classes. For a problem with k classes there are k into k minus 1 divided by 2 classifiers. For each classifier is trained to distinguish between the two specific classes. Voting scheme is used to assign a label to a data point. Here majority voting scheme based on the pairwise classifier and we can select this strategy when high classification precision is required but this method is costly. For example k equal to 4 so total 6 classifiers are trained a versus b a versus C, A versus D, B versus C, B versus D, then C versus D. So here the classifier with respect to A. So when unseen sample is there, so for when we run this three classifier that is against A, so we are getting the label belongs to the A, C and A. When we run with the B versus C and B versus D, it belongs to the C and D and C versus D it belongs to C. Now here we check that for A the count is 2, for B count is 0, for C count is 3 and for D count is 1. So this sample, unseen sample is likely belong to the class C. This is the visual representation. So here the different boundaries are there between the blue and red, between the red and green and green and blue. error correcting output code that is ECOC. It represents each class with a unique binary code that is sequence of bits. Multiple binary classifiers are then trained to predict each bits of this code. For new instance all binary classifiers are run and the class whose code is closest to the predicted code is chosen. It is a powerful method of multi class classification as it breaks down the problem into multiple binary classifier and leverages error correction to improve the robustness. This method is particularly useful for problems where classes are not linearly separable and multiple classifier can provide the higher accuracy. 
now let us see example imagine we are classifying animals into cats dogs horses and cows based on various features for binary classifier we might focus on different aspect so to classify the animals this f1 to f7 features can be used so here we based on the feature we can make a various classifier and we will classify that particular unseen sample now see steps for ecoc code matrix design create a binary code matrix where each row represents a class and each column represents a binary classifier training prediction and decoding so this step will be clear when we take a example now see here a problem with four classes a b c d first is a design a code matrix for example in all this four table uh, five uh, five features are there so we take this five features so design a code matrix with a use a 4 by 5 code matrix four classes and five binary classifiers are there each row is the code for a class and each column represents a binary classification task now we will see step by step here four classes are there a b c d now if we see the along the row then in a two features are present while three features are absent in b f1 and f3 is present in c f2 f3 f4 are present in d f5 and f5 are present now we will train the classifier across the column now here a b is belong to the one class and c d belong to the another class here a and c belong to the one class b d belong to another class here b c belong to one class and a d belong to the another class so here for this this is the positive side and this is the negative side but instead of negative side we use the zero so we train five classifier for unseen sample a b versus c d a c versus b d b c versus a d c d versus a b and uh, d versus a b c now we will get the output for this classifier now suppose we have given new unseen sample x and we apply for all four classifier all five classifier and we get the output 10110 so 10110 means this particular first for first f1 it will gives the output as see this is ab or even here written as ab so ab that's why the one then next is zero means it belongs to the category bd next is one it belongs to the category bc next is one it belongs to category bd and next is zero it belong to the category abc so here only for simplicity instead of minus zero is used so one belongs to this class and zero belongs to this class compare the predicted code with each class code using a hamming distance so when the bits are same hamming is zero and when bits are uneven the hand distance is one so a class is one one zero 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 see one one zero 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 b is one zero one zero zero so in this way they are represented now we'll find out the distance of each class with respect to this code now see this first bit one and one match so distance is zero next mismatch but distance is one all three uh, next two again mismatch so distance increase and last is same so three times mismatch so distance is three for b only one times mismatch for c two times and three so here the smallest distance is v one which is corresponding to class b therefore we classify the x as a unseen sample x as a class b and here we can see also that we are getting the answer as 10110 now here we can see that one means this class so b is there next is zero means opposite b is there next is one b is there next for only this one this will not work and for zero again we are getting another class b and we can see that out of five for four classifier our b is their representative that's why the strong chances are there that unseen sample belong to the class b advantage it can correct some misclassification due to the error correcting property of the code it can design codes to focus on separating difficult to distinguish classes binary classifier can be trained and run in parallel so this is all about the ecoc so this is the video for the multi class classification for svm thank you